This thing is like it's so hard. It's, it's oh right. no, you just ruined it, man. I'm a big fan of the heat bar. Well, all right, we'll just throw in another one. Good mythical morning. Over the course of the past two Halloweens, we've eaten a lot of candy. Yeah, we and have. what we learned was that Reese's peanut butter cups, best candy of all time. Woo! Necco wafers, worst candy of all time. Ooh. And you know what? Almond Joy, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we also realized that there are so many candy bars out there that they deserve a tournament of their own. A tournament. Yeah. Yeah. You How do what? you say the word? I say tournament. But I think, you know what? I'm going to start saying tournament. I think that's right. Yeah, terminate of their own. <laughs> Buckle up, little beasties, because we're about to embark on a three-day terminant <laughs> to determine the definite worst candy bar of all time. It's time for <laughs> Creepy Candy Bar Crap Fest, day one. Behold, our daringly, dazzling, devastatingly dapper, ding-dong, dopest bracket board of disappointing candy bars. All right, this bracket contains 16 of the worst candy bars of all time. And do you see? It's a cross-section of a candy bar. I didn't notice you that. You thought right it was now. a K. I've just been focusing on the fact that it was a terminant. And that's really the only thing I've been thinking about. So I just saw <laughs> the brackets, but it's actually the cross section of a candy of bar. Of a candy bar. Okay, there's 16 of the worst candy bars of all time as voted on by you. We created a list like we always do of the worst candy bars uh, based on online sentiment. Mm -hmm. And then we put a Mythical Beast survey out there on Facebook, IG stories, Twitter, the YouTube community tab. We're doing it all over the place <laughs> for the terminant. 55,971 votes were cast. I don't know if that's one person voting that many times or some division, but narrowing it down to the last 16 worst candy bars ever. Yeah, okay, the first eight candy bars that we're gonna be eating today, because the other ones are tomorrow, mm -hmm. but today is Almond Joy. Baby Ruth. Three Musketeers. Heath. Butterfinger. Payday. Hershey's Gold. And Mounds. And manning the board for this year's competition is John Wayne Chasey. Oh, oh gosh! Oh gosh! No, okay. Wrong, wrong entrance. Chasey, the board's over there. It's it, the term, it happens over there. Oh why? Hmm, you just brushed your neck. Oh why? <laughs> <laughs> oh why? Oh why? Exactly. <laughs> In the end, the candy bar we deem the worst of all time will suffer the ultimate punishment: being buried alive. Let the battle of the bars begin. All right, our first battle is with a candy bar that you decided was the worst. The first seed, Almond Joy, versus the 16th seed, Baby Ruth. Now, the Almond Joy was the Cinderella story of the, you know, when it was in the other tournament. Right. So now we get we, we got this thing where you guys are saying it's the worst. It's not the worst. And we've already. It's actually pretty good. Okay, now. Oh, it comes in two, so we just each get one. Yep, yeah, and it also, grab one. It also has. A cardboard backing, which this is like one of those. If you get injured, and like the paramedics show up, and they're Splint. like, like oh, a backboard, a backboard, yeah, it's like this it's a thing, backboard for this, a very very small person or thing, maybe uh, a lizard. Some traction. Um, when I look at that board, I just get hungry. I mean, you know, I like everything, so we're really going to be relying on your instinct to dislike foods um, to really carry us through this. Well, if, so the it, pressure's on you, ball. Do uh, you want to eat this one too? I mean, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Baby Ruth. One time we got paid by Baby Ruth to dress up like goth, goth character. Goth. It's pretty good. I actually, <laughs> I don't really like Baby Ruth. Like, it's kind of dry. I'm not gonna say the Cinderella story is now one of the worst. So, we're, we're, I, I'm saying Baby Ruth is worse than the Almond Joy, even and though that I means, never thought I would say that. And that means that the Almond Referring Joy, to other tournaments. which is better, this is confusing, the one that's better goes in the eat you later bucket, just like this. <sighs> exactly like that. Mm -hmm. J Dub Chasey putting in work. Oh, you really hit it hard there at the end. He seems mad. Next up, we got the eight seed with 6,296 votes, three musketeers, versus the number nine seed with 6,103 votes, Heath. So these are neck and neck. Oh, break me off a piece of that. Three musketeers. Now, I'm learning some things about Three Musketeers. First of all, Three Musketeers is called a Milky Way outside of the US and Canada. That's mind blowing. What? And what we know to be a Milky Way is called a Mars bar outside of the US and Canada. What's happening? Why can't we just get on the same freaking page? We've been lied to. Uh, Heath bar, which, oh gosh. 
This thing is like it's so hard. It's, it's oh right. no, you just ruined it, man. I'm a big fan of the Heath bar. Well, all right, we'll just go with another one. <laughs> also, I'm a big fan of this though. So no, you're gonna okay. have to decide which one's worse. So what's milk chocolate English toffee bar? Here's the interesting thing: early ads promoted the Heath bar as a health bar. Yeah, uh, that's what I've always thought. Health. Oh, it Heath, says Heath, not health. Uh. It says Heath for better health. Uh, only the best milk chocolate and almonds, creamy butter, and pure sugar cane. Tell me, tell me why anyone would like this. This is horrible. Toffee, toffee is well, the is the nectar of the gods. Well, it's not that it tastes bad, but I don't care. I like both of them. So but whichever one you hate worse. It we'll... doesn't taste like a candy bar. It tastes like candy that's coated in chocolate. I feel ripped off. But I hear what you're saying is. Oh is my that, gosh, we have a freaking interloper. It can happen. I was hoping no one would see it, but baby Ruth can get into Three Musketeers sometimes. The baby being sneaky. <laughs> the baby. I'm, I'm clearly voting for Heath to suck more. Okay, so that means that Three Musketeers, I don't have a problem with that, is better and being thrown in the bucket. <laughs> that almost hit me on the head. Like, I gotta go back to the right hand. You know, I'm, I'm right I wasn't hand. even watching. Right, right hand. Yeah! Oh, it's a big bucket. All right, Chasey, throw it on there. Well, he's much more gentle. I think he took my feedback from the first round. Quick reminder, only got a few days left if you're joining the third degree monthly of the Mythical Society to get the final collectible item of 2020, the Rhett and Link bobbleheads. They bobble! Complete with a box that turns into the set. These unique collectibles are only available to Mythical Society third degree members Again, join Third Degree Monthly by October 31st in order to get this thing, or Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by December 31st to qualify. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details. Won't you? Yes. All right. Okay, now we got our next contender to the number 12 seed with 5,238 votes, Butterfinger versus the fifth seed with 6,960 votes, Payday. So, so give me some of that Butterfinger, man. We're both, oh, it's already split, just pull. We're both peanut butter loving mm -hmm. fiends. Um, when I get Halloween candy, if I'm gonna steal from my children, first I steal the Reese's, and the, and the second I steal the Butterfinger. That's how I roll. The taste is good. You really can't say anything bad about the taste, but these this flakiness here, I just took one chomp, and every single one of my teeth is lined with this peanut, like shale, you know that rock that's like beside a river called shale, and, and that's it's just like the good part. It's very layery. I and... like to have residual food in my mouth from this thing that I'm eating. And you like geology. That is a, a feature for me, not a bug. I will tell you though, in 1923, they dropped Butterfingers from planes as a as an advertising campaign. Seriously? Can we bring that back? I mean, let's drop the bobbleheads from planes. All right, so the payday, when did this thing come out? 1932, so it's not, it's not, as, it's not as old as a Butterfinger. Why but is it so nut forward? It's so nut forward that they're saying, that they're now promoting it as a protein bar. It's got seven grams of protein in it. It tastes like a slightly better tasting protein bar, which is why I really don't like it. It's like, let's take the stuff that people don't like from other candy bars and put it into one candy bar and then call it payday. So the taste of the Butterfinger is so much better, and you could argue that all the stuff in your teeth is just more Butterfinger for later. That's right, right. so you're saying that you like the Butterfinger more, payday's worse. Yeah, this this pretty much is like a dookie log to me. All right. When do I Hey, get... we're getting See, on a roll. Nothing on my side has gotten a toss. Yeah, that's by design, Link. JWC, what are you, what are you, what, you, you cleaning something? Okay, he's sanitizing it. Are you happy? Hmm, shouldn't have asked him that. We got the final seed of the day, number 13, ooh, it's unlucky, with 5,096 votes, Hershey's Gold Bar, versus the number four seed with 11,619 votes, Mounds. Look at this thing, it's gold. This is a first. Oh look, and look how, look how this is organized. They're like, let's change it up. They've tetricized it. It is a new bar, relatively new, dropped in 2017. The first bar in 23 years from Hershey's, uh, Cookies and Cream was before that in 1994. Wow, they don't, they don't put out a lot of bars. It says that what's inside, Did the white cream, chocolate? is the same as inside of an Oreo, but Hershey says it turns the white cream gold by browning the sugar inside. 
And then what's the bits? Be pe peanuts and pretzels. Peanuts and pretzels. They're yeah, they're both. They're very small. It, but it's got that saltiness. It it, pr I, it promised quite a bit, and it doesn't deliver on anything. I don't even taste the Oreo cream. Like that was a titillating fat. That's my fool's friend. gold. But I'm not. Ex Not experiencing that. Mounds. Mounds oh, it's do got a, not it's have got a backboard as an well. almond. They're just in this dark chocolate. I think it's to deliver it into your mouth. You eat I it. don't want to eat the whole thing. Eat the, eat the backboard. I mean, I've had a lot of candy today. This is nowhere near as good as an Almond Joy. I mean, the dark chocolate got a little more bitterness. It's an Almond Joyless candy bar. You Period. think the joy is in the almond? Yeah, definitely because what about I, the joy in the chocolate and the I don't, joy in the I don't like this. The, 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 the coconut. The coconut. Don't put it in the coconut. I don't I I don't like either one of these. It's well, just a, it's just a question of me. I which like, one is worse? I like males more than this. This was this promised so this got me so excited. Look at the packaging. Look at that little color scheme on the edge. So disappointed. Yeah, they this tried is really just, hard. This is just like the guy at the almond joy factory left the dark thing on too long and forgot to put an almond in. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm, I'm in a forgiving no, mood, no, I like it. No, no we're not. We, we are crapping on the worst, man. And this is, even though this one ranks lower, this one's worse than the Almond Joy, big time. Is it's it worse joyless. than this? In my, yes, 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 at least this is creamy. This was a disappointment. I am firmly saying that this is worse than the Mounds. You're right. saying that Mounds is worse than this? Yes, so, all right, we're going to a tiebreaker, obviously. Okay. Um, we are gonna perform the tiebreaker. How heavy is John Wayne Chasey's sack? So John Wayne Chasey has a sack uh, and we're supposed to uh, grasp it and then tell you how many grams it is? Why grams? Cause that's, cause candy bar? You wanna hold it? You, you can hold it first. Okay. Lighter than I thought. You've been using it. Okay, there's not much to that. Whoa, that's a light sack. That's light. I mean, that's, that's a, a really light sack. You yes. look, you look at John Wayne Chase, and you think you have a heavy sack. A kilogram is the thousand grams, right? Or a thousand. Mm, I'm not going to think out loud anymore. All right, I have my number. Uh, Do you want to say yours first, so I can change it? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> let's say the, let's say our numbers at the same time, okay? When we catch it. Here we go. When you catch it, I'll just yeah. throw it to you. Three, two. One. 175. 17 grams, man, it's not kilograms. I said 175 grams. You said 17 grams? Yeah, I was. 180. I I was, I was, I was saying <laughs> kilograms. Hey, that, 18 hey, kilograms. Listen, can we just take a moment? That's still not right. That's a man good. just holds a sack and says 175 grams, and then you weigh it, it's 180 grams. I feel like I should receive at least a candy bar for that. I know, and, yeah, here it is. Thank you. And this. I hate it. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so that, hey, at least I get to throw something. How, why was I off that far? Doesn't matter. Hey, well, you missed that too. Well, you, do, you know what, get another try. Get another try. Leave on a happy note. Yeah, just move. Same spot. Ad adjust it just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, you got it. There's more mounds where that came from. Yep, I'm too short. getting pretty you, defeated. It looks good. I look like an idiot, and now I no, look no, like no, an no. idiot. Just go, just go harder. Just go harder. Same thing, harder. No harder. No harder. I don't want to go too hard. Yeah. <laughs> John Wayne Casey, put that Hershey's gold on there if you're following along. Not mounds. Not mounds. You're not. See, yeah, exactly. That's what I would have said, but I'm horrible at weight. <laughs> Okay, that means at the end of the day, Baby Ruth, Heath, Payday, and Hershey's Gold have moved on as still having a chance to be the worst candy bar ever. Yeah, they get to rest up for tomorrow while we select the next four to continue on and battle them for the title of the worst candy bar ever. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Stefan. And I'm Alicia. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Pain. <sighs> no. I don't know if I want to spill the Wheel of Pain. Uh-uh. We'll just spin this one, thank you very much. All right, much. click the top link to watch us play the terrifying VR game, Rako's Fragments, and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Join the Mythical Society Third Degree Monthly by October 31st to get the Retin Link Bobbleheads. Third Degree Quarterly and Third Degree Annual Plan purchases automatically qualify. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.